Hey guys, I want to say quick thanks for all the amount of support I received in my last video with all the views, the subscribers, thank you, it means a lot. But if you have something to do another camo, let me know in the description below. I promise I'll try to do this in less than a week, tops. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips for the Rock Country class challenges so you can complete them as soon as possible. I'm also going to be providing a timestamp if you're looking for something specific, it's going to be in the description so you can go look ahead if you want. And let's get started. Alright, so here are all the camos I'm going to be covering in this part of the video. Here's the class as well. All right, if you guys need a pause, go ahead. Alright guys, for this challenge, I recommend you guys do Newtown Hardcore. And hopefully you guys run into a lobby that people are not using flat jacket as much. I also recommend try some equipment, some flashes, some stunts, whatever you guys prefer. It helps to a certain degree. Uh, but you know, the trick is just to hit them directly. Easier said than done. The good news is that they decrease the kills you require in the lab from 3 to 2. So you just gotta keep at this and you will eventually get it. Alright, I'm also gonna be showing you guys some trick for the Sigma. So if you guys hold something lethal or non-lethal, the gun will shoot from its hip bar instead of ADSing. I recommend you guys to use it with gun ho so you guys are able to run around instead of walking, which can get you killed pretty easy. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some clips of me using this trick so that way you guys can decide whether to use this or not, up to you guys. Alright, so here are the camels I'm going to be covering in this part of the video. Here's the class as well. Alright, if you guys need a pause, go ahead. Alright, this is a pretty easy camo for the Sigma. You guys can do all those three challenges at once. I just recommend you guys go to Combine Arms, Assault Mode, Find the Map Cartel, and Camp in the Back of Spawn. You just place your Assault Packs, set up camp, shoot anything they put up in the air, and I'm going to be showing you guys how many kill tricks I get at the end of the clip. Alright, so here are the camos I'm going to be going over with. Here's the class I recommend you guys to use. Use the DMR with the vehicle increased attachment. Alright, so you want to head to Firebomb, and all you want to do is be redeploying constantly and looking at the map until you see these red indicators, which are streaks. You just want to head there and shoot them out as many as you can. Right, if you guys don't see anything in the map, I simply recommend just let the character fall and die so it respawns you again in the air and you can have another try at this, and then you just want to rinse and repeat until you get this. <laughs> Alright, so for the vehicles, as long as you guys get those medals, the takedown or the breakdown, it should count. Doesn't matter if you get the kill or not. Alright, so for the RPG and the thumper, since they don't have that locking system, I just recommend to get close to the vehicle or the streak uh, as close as possible. So you guys can get those direct hits. Alright, so for the tanks, I recommend you guys to do this this way, so you guys can guarantee the kill or the, the destruction of the tank. You just want to shoot it with the DMR since it has that vehicle increased damage. You just want to weaken it a little bit. Once you do that, you want to hit it with the Semtex, and right after that, you want to shoot it with the rocket launcher, the Sigma, Dumper, RPG, and it should guarantee you the destruction of the tank. And I'll show you guys with the other rocket launchers as well. Inbound. 
All right, so here are all the camels I'm going to be covering in this part of the video. Here's the class as well. All right, if you guys need to pause, go ahead. All right, so for this challenge, you're going to be playing Nuketown, and you're going to be running around, shooting anything the enemy puts down, trophies, field mics, jammers, anything you see. For the trophies, you can either jam them, or you can be up close and personal to destroy them. Alright, so here's the RPG cam I'll be covering. Um, I also recommend you guys to use that DMR again with that vehicle increased damage attachment. Alright, so for the RPG, you need to destroy aerial streaks. Um, the easiest methods I found were to go to Firebomb and you want to shoot attack choppers uh, with DMR, try to weaken it enough for it to one shot with the RPG if possible. Here's some examples of me trying to do it. You guys can also shoot um, care packages in Nuketown, for example, but I don't recommend this because people don't run care packages as often compared to other streaks. So that's why I recommend just Firebomb. Alright, another area you can destroy is the UAVs and the counters. So the counters will take uh, about two RPGs, so you want to shoot it with the DMR first and then shoot with the RPG. But your best bet is to just do Ruka. Don't do any of these on the other maps. They spawn you way too low. It's not worth it. Try and, and here's an example of me actually hitting a UAV on the Alpine and you can see how difficult it is. Established overhead. Hostile spy plane. Alright, so this is the last two camos, and this one's kind of an update on the long shots from my last video. So I was receiving some comments on people saying that they were hitting the shots, but it wasn't, you know, giving them the long shot medals. So um, I believe this is the reason why it's not giving you those long shot medals. So in this clip, I'm shooting this enemy across the map, right, in my spot that's in the middle of the map, and I'm getting the long shots, right? So what I think people are doing is they're shooting their shot, and then they're leaving the spot. So the way the game is set up is you need to be 50 meters away from the kill. So right now, I'm going to be shooting at him from the exact same spot, location, everything, and I'm going to be running towards the middle. And you can see that I don't get uh, the long shot medal anymore. Body dropped. Alright, so the reason I put these two together is because when you hit those long shots, you have that uh, good chance of hitting those enemies behind cover. So it counts for that as well. But if you're just missing that directly, just go to Nuketown. Hardcore and pre-fire the corners. I recommend the middle. People like to pick that a lot in hardcore. And that's pretty simple. Just run around, get kills, and you're guaranteed to hit it. Or get those kills, that's it. 